Hello, this is Paul from QuickenMobile.com. Excellent opportunity to press pause to write down where we are. Okay, great. Let's take a look at this chair right here, the Electra 7 Tower Folding Wheelchair, direct from the factory. So what we did is we actually, of course, took the back, the back rest off before we really get into the chair. Obviously, the chair unfolds very easy in freewheel mode. We have a chair that has a lot of utility, and we have a chair that very easily has the ability to lock into space and to become a power chair. So this is definitely not the first time that I have made an update video about an Electra 7. However, this is mid to late 2020, so we're making an update video about some of the most recent things that this chair can do. I don't believe that I've made a video that somebody should probably make also, or somebody should probably watch, freshly after they unbox the chair as they're getting it set up. So you might find that this, this piece right here, there's a little U piece, breathable fabric, you have memory foam, in both the seat cushion and in the breathable mesh on the back of the chair, the cushion on the back of the chair, but we're going to get this stuff out of the way and take a look at the actual harness here. A lot of people don't understand that this gives you a lot of flexibility here to either make the seat very firm or very soft. And the back of the seat, you have a flap that's folded underneath the chair with a lot of these, so you have space in between the frame. This is designed to be unfolded and give you the level or the grade of lumbar support that you feel most comfortable with with your chair. And if we took a look in the back of the Electra 7, it's the same circumstance. This chair would be set up as a very loose seat to make an adjustment to a chair that gives a very firm seat, it's very simple to do. So there's a lot of different features that these chairs have the ability to do. I'll point out real quick, this chair is 50 pounds without the batteries. It is 58 pounds with both batteries in and it is FAA travel approved. Uh, but back to setting the chair up. I've made this a lot more firm. I can actually, if, before I made this firm, I could actually pull this up if I wanted the, the back to be higher. And let's see, I just want to add a little bit of firmness to the chair itself. And we can see that just within moving a couple different, well, a few different Velcro straps, we have a chair that has good lumbar support, is nice and firm, and is ready to be assembled in a way that most people would want to actually operate the chair. So there we go, we have the back piece that folds over nice and snug, and we have the actual cushion that you would sit on. A couple of real important measurements before we really dig into what this chair can do. Uh, we have the, the measurement of space in between the armrest, We've got 21 inches of space in between the armrest, and that's from the factory. And we have the actual cushion itself, the seat cushion, now has 20 inches of space. Okay, so if you're getting a brand new Electra 7 and you're getting the most recent model, you're getting 20 inches of space. Now there are separate videos where we go over all the different measurements of this chair. This is more of updates. We've done a lot of videos on this chair, so we're going to do several more videos here, but just a, a brief synopsis. You've got eight inch front solid tires here. And if we take an actual look at the tire, we can see that these tires are designed for both indoor and outdoor. Now this isn't a four wheel ATV vehicle. You're not gonna go mudding in these chairs or anything like that. Uh, however, if you do wanna go in your backyard, if you do want to go on maybe like a class, uh, I guess an easy uh, hiking trail, without a lot of roots in the way, or even with some moderate roots, you would be able to handle those. The chair itself, it's built out of aircraft grade aluminum, so heavy duty aluminum, and the chair is an FDA registered medical device rated to hold up to 400 pounds, the Electra 7 Power Folding Wheelchair. 
solid rear polyurethane wheels. They don't have the inner tube, so if you're out and about and you happen to drive over a sharp piece of glass or a tack or whatever else, you don't have to worry about getting a flat tire. And we've got the actual fenders of the chair itself here. We've got each, um, on each hub here, we have two 250 watt motors. One on the right side, one on the left side, reflective material here. And of course, if we take a look in the back of the chair, we have the latch that allows you to easily unlatch the frame for easy folding. So it kind of folds in, in some ways like a clamshell. And we have the DuraShocks. These are designed to absorb energy from the ground when the chair is driving. So the frame of the chair isn't so bumpy. And of course, these latching mechanisms on either side here can be used to either make the chair go from, if the chair is off and the electromagnetic motors are not engaged, so the joystick power is off, it can be a push chair, which is great, or it can be a chair that you lock into space and have as a power chair. The joystick itself, if we take a note of the joystick, it's mounted on the right-hand side of the chair from the factory, but it can be moved to the left-hand side of the chair. So if we took a look really at the actual way that the joystick is mounted, we have a knob kind of underneath the chair here that mounts the joystick, and I'll scoot the chair around to the back. We have some cables that are kind of underneath the chair that would allow you to liberate some slack and remove the joystick cable from the right side of the chair and just with a couple zip ties attach it to the left side of the chair so you have a left side joystick mounted chair probably in about five or ten minutes. We've made videos of that in the past so we probably have them on our channel. We'll lock this into place and just take a look at the actual joystick here, the Sensi Touch joystick. Literally you can operate it with just a single finger you have the on button. It will give you an indication that the device is on when it's full. You have three green lights. You have two or three uh, orange lights and one red. So usually a great time to charge the device would be when you would have uh, probably the, the first orange would be burned up. So maybe you have two or three lights left. You could charge the device. You have the off, easy on, easy off. You have the horn in the middle and then you have the speed button. The chair goes up to four miles per hour and it is governed by electromagnetic motors. Four miles per hour is faster than the average person walks. So you're not going slow in this chair. You're not going abundantly fast either. You're going it faster than a walking pace on full speed. So that's nice for a lot of people. Now, the space in between the armrest, we've already said that that's 21 inches of space. We've got a cushion itself that is 20 inches wide. We'll just go ahead and give a quick depth of the cushion. You've got 16 inches or a little bit over 16 inches of depth of the cushion itself. So being as this isn't really about measuring the chair, more about informing of what the chair is, we'll kind of keep it a little bit more to informing and then if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you can probably be notified of things like the measuring videos or other videos when they come out. Now, this chair folds up very easily. Kind of has a little bit of a kickstand, and if I put this in three-wheel mode, I'm unlocking the wheels, I'm allowing the chair to be folded up itself, very easy, and it takes a very small amount of space, and I have the ability, if I need to move the chair or transport the chair, just to grab the footrest and just move the chair around. If I want to open the chair up, the chair just literally uses gravity to open. I unlatched it with the latch right back here to fold it. Very easy, very simple. And we'll point out just a couple things about the chair itself. One of the things the people like most about this chair, in addition to having the safety and security that it is an FDA registered medical device, is that the batteries themselves are in the arms of the chair, or built into the frame of the chair. So each battery has its own empty full indicator, and each battery has a charging port itself that I'll explain a little bit more about in just a few moments. If we take a look at the joystick, the joystick has a charging port. 
So the joystick, if you plug the joystick in when the joystick is connected to the chair, you're going to charge both batteries at the same time. These batteries are 10 AH batteries and they slide right out of the frame. So they're travel friendly batteries. Slide right out of the frame, very easy to use, very simple to charge, very light and travel friendly. So you can fly with this device without a problem. Some devices have limitations. I believe it's currently 12 AH or amperage hour. So if you have a device that, that has more power than that, it's technically not travel compliant. So if we take a look underneath the actual chair in the, in the weatherproof basket, we have the instruction manual for the Electra 7. Comes with the seat belt as well. So the seat belt, little side note that we'll get on, we'll kind of delve into a couple things here. Seat belt can be attached really anywhere to the chair that you would like to attach it. We've made several seat belt videos. So the beautiful thing about this seat belt, some people like to use it maybe for a lower extremity for whatever reason. Some people like to use the seat belt more around the waist. Some people might want to use the seat belt more around the chest area, but you have the ability and flexibility to decide where the seat belt goes on the chair. And it's adjustable as well. You've got some tools, of course, a couple of Allen wrenches. You can actually get uh, accessories like an HD armrest extender kit that would allow you to have 24 and a half inches of space in between those two armrests. And this Allen wrench is, would be the, the tools that you would use to attach something like that. And you have the pigtail attachment for the actual battery. So you would be able to utilize the port on the battery, plug the pigtail attachment directly into the battery or the independent charger as some people call it, and charge each battery independently. The charger that comes with the chair, it's an international household charger. So you can plug this into a 110 or a 220 volt outlet, it's fine. It's an international household charger and it goes, if you charge both batteries at the same time, of course, they would have to both be in the chair, but that will plug directly into the front of the joystick. So if you want to charge one battery at a time, outside of the chair you can with this chair you would just simply plug the battery charger into the wall and of course into the pigtail attachment into the battery so each battery can be charged individually and you see how simple these batteries are to take in and out of the chair now sometimes people will let me know that there's a battery that might be a little bit stubborn to get out of a chair so i like to kind of remind people that we have, if we can take a look, we have a, a notch that's right back there. Yeah, we can see it, a, a, a notch, right? Kind of in the back, holding that battery in. So that, that prevents the battery just from sliding right out. Now the whole name of the game here is to get that notch depressed fully enough that you can get the battery out. So this is gonna be a little bit dark I'm going to press the notch, this battery just slides right out. But you see the notch on the side of the battery. You can actually see where the light shines through it. So that needs to be pressed down. Batteries come out very simple, very easy. And we've got the batteries in the chair. One of the things that people really like about the Electra 7, the placement is really the placement of the batteries. Now, these batteries, if I'm sitting in the chair itself, I can both sit in the chair and with relative ease and with limited range of movement, put those batteries in the chair, or even with relative ease and relatively limited range of movement, take the batteries out of the chair. That's why a lot of people like this model of chair. Now before I get out of this chair, I'm going to point out something else. Now the design of this chair, it holds up to 400 pounds, and if you weigh close to 400 pounds, 
to me, I would want something, an armrest particularly, that's anchored to both the back of the chair and anchored to the frame of the chair and gives you the ergonomic design that a person with bigger legs and bigger hips has more comfort in that they don't have restriction of an armrest that's going to basically keep their legs in jail. So I like the design of this chair for that reason. It's not just a single piece right here that, that to me, in my mind, I would feel every time I'm bearing down on that chair. Because really, if you think about it, I'm close to a 200 pound guy. Yeah, these are really powerful. They're, they're strong, but I wouldn't take a gamble personally, and I don't care if the chair, what the chair says it's rated at, doing something like that with the chair that just has an armrest right here. So that's one of the key features about, about this chair is the utility. And of course, the armrests both are easily able to lift up. So as far as transfers in and out of either side, yes, I know it looks like this is a somewhat fitness-oriented move. I'm just demonstrating utility here. You can have a lot of different options for this chair. And of course, with a little piece called the attendant controller bracket, you have the ability to actually mount the joystick on the back of the chair. So we've made separate videos about that. That's just something useful to know. Uh, now that I'm out of the chair, we'll show a couple more features about the chair. Each chair has its own serial number. The serial number is located on the, the actual top of the chair. Just underneath the, the handle. So the handle can be used to, this is the space where you would attach the attendant controller bracket. This also gives uh, additional padding. Now we have accessories like leg extension kit and a headrest that can be used with this chair as well. And we're going to take a look at the back of the chair here. And I just, I'd just like to point out a couple of things. I wasn't quite done making the point and again, you can see that she has very little range of movement here. I, I took the battery out of the chair and I was able to really just let gravity itself kind of take that battery back in the chair. Now think about it. Would you want a chair that has backbreaker batteries underneath the chair? Because a lot of the lightweight chairs have the encumbrance of batteries that are underneath the vehicle itself. So to deal with those batteries, literally, I'm on my hands and knees to, to play around with those batteries, and then I have to think about how I'm going to actually get back up. So that can be a bit of an issue. And we take a look at what's underneath this chair. It's nothing less than the actual CPU unit of the chair itself. So that's the motor of the chair right there. Kind of get this little thing out of the way. The CPU of the chair, that basically gives you the ability to control, of course, the right, the left motor. You've got the command center from the joystick, and we have motors that have sell that themselves are are virtually maintenance free. These are the brushless motors. Now I'm going to say something that's really important about these motors. A lot of people don't realize that there's a difference between brushed and brushless electromagnetic motors. Brushless electromagnetic motors operate in a virtually frictionless or very low friction environment where a brushed motor conducts the electricity with a brush that makes contact uh, with other moving metal pieces to, to create friction, of course, but also uh, conduct elect electricity. So to me, one would be more of an inherent device to break down than the other. And of course, you have the frame that just latches into place and, and unlatches. Very easy, very simple. We'll take a look at just a couple more things with the chair, how easy it is to remove the joystick, of course. We take a look here, we have a buckle, we have two arrows, one on either side with the joystick. Very easy to take the joystick off. And if we were going to put the chair in the trunk of the car, take the chair on a day trip or something along those lines, we might want to grab a couple of accessories, the pigtail, the charger, just in case, and put the 
joystick underneath the chair. You can very easily get the chair folded up and ready for a day of travel. Folks, thank you so much for watching this video. This is just a little bit of upgrades, updates about the Electro 7 Power Folding Wheelchair. We hope everybody makes it a wonderful afternoon. It's beautiful outside. It's beautiful inside with this chair too.